Have you ever heard of pause in the cue action? And do you know why it's good to use a pause in the cue action? If you keep on watching the video, you'll find out. Hello and welcome, I'm Brando, EBSA Assistant Head Coach and World Snooker Coach. It's a video about the Q action. In my coaching career, I've seen many amateur players who don't believe that they need all of the little details in their Q action. Probably it's a matter of knowledge, because they don't know why, or it's a matter of discipline, because they believe they don't need it. But that's not the truth. If you look, Sean Murphy, for example, the finalist of the 2021 World Snooker Championship, he poses at the back, quite long back pose, probably the longest in the professional tour. If you look at Mark Selby, the current World Snooker Champion, he does a little pose at the front, at the white ball, and a little pose at the back. Those incredible players keep their cue action very consistent. Their cue action have been practiced a lot. To use a perfect cue action without thinking about it. For 95% of the players, the front pose and the back pose is working very well. I'm saying 95% because for a little percentage of the players, those poses at the front and at the back can break their rhythm. But this is very little percentage. In most of the cases, uh, the players don't like the poses just because it's a little change in their cue action, it's a little change in their rhythm. But that means that they just need time to get used to and they need time to apply that in their cue action. Why you need those poses? The front pose is important to make that little final check. Just to be sure that you're aiming at the white ball at the correct place. And then because you've stopped, this will help your backswing to be very smooth, controlled, full of precision, because if your backswing is not good enough, then you may twitch and you miss the shot. When you pull back the cue, then there is a little back pause. That pause will help you to focus. This will help you for better timing. Because you've stopped, you will always start the shot from zero kilometers per hour. If you don't stop, sometimes you may start too fast, and then you decelerate or your shot is too jabby, which of course is not very good for striking the white ball. So you make your feathers, you make that little front pause, see if you're aiming perfectly on the cue ball. That will lead to smooth backswing, controlled backswing, then a little pause at the back to help your delivery to be full of control and precision. I go down in the shot. I make my feathers. Now I stop. Smooth backswing, stop. And then you strike the white ball. Just little pause at the front and at the back. Subscribing to my channel is good. Thank you for watching. See you next time.